Hello everybody and welcome back to your favorite channel. Today we are going to dive deep into the world of S4 HANA transition paths. Buckle up because we are about to take your business on an incredible digital journey. And as you all know that in our last session we talked about the rise with SAP journey. And we know it's a methodology which talks about taking your business to a next level and to a new heights as in transitioning from your current source systems to S4 HANA source systems. And there are multiple approaches that could be taken to move the existing source systems to SAP S4 HANA. There are definitely a couple of things that needs to be considered. So either are we happy with the current business process or do we want to re-implement in order to adopt the standardized business process. So if we want to reuse our existing business process then the system conversion is a transition approach also known as the brownfield implementation as per the industry standards and here the key descriptor is your rapid modernization because it helps in getting a system conversion fairly quickly but if you want to re-engineer your completely business process then New implementation may be a transition approach and in this case it's the business model innovation right because as I said if you want to completely re-engineer or re-implement in order to go up to as per the standardized business process but hold on there is a middle ground as well which is called the selective data transition it's a more about a customized and tailored fit project approach where we talk more about the business process optimization. Here mostly we handle like we try to aggregate multiple source systems into a single S4 HANA instance. So if you see here when we talk about system conversion then as in with respect to the brownfield implementation either we go to an SAP S4 HANA cloud instance or SAP S4 HANA on-premise instance. So basically if you now see in with respect to a new implementation here we talk about either we migrate to an SAP S4 and a cloud instance or SAP S4 and a cloud public instance so both public and private comes into picture and obviously the on-premise is also there but with respect to selective data transition that is your bluefield implementation here we talk about either migrating to an SAP S4 and a cloud private edition or SAP S4 and a on-premise edition now if we further move ahead so that's the like if we further try to understand the system conversion approach as in if we have to migrate via the brownfield implementation approach. So in this condition if you see on the left side either if you are on a core SAP ECC solution which is either on 6.0 and above or if you are on an SAP ERP on HANA that is on suite on HANA system then it's a most favorable situation that you want to migrate to an SAP S4 HANA on-premise solution or an SAP S4 HANA private cloud edition. And if you see here, here the tool that is mostly used is your SUM tool as in your software update manager including the database migration option. So here we easily use this SUM tool to convert your existing source system into your SAP S4 HANA system. And now the biggest question is why should you choose this option? But before that, to understand this scenario is more about the technical in place conversion of an existing SAP business suite ERP system, either it could be a core ECC 6.0 or it could be an ERP on HANA to an SAP S4 HANA, including the database, the SAP NetWeaver and the application transition in one step. And the biggest shift that you see is here primarily the user experience goes on to SAP Fiori but SAP GUI still stays and the other biggest difference that you see is earlier SAP ECC 6.0 could be on any DB or suit on HANA was on SAP HANA but now with SAP S4 HANA the one and only DB that could be exist is your SAP HANA database and how would you achieve this transition basically as we talked about via the SUM tool. And why should you choose this option? In case if you want to bring your existing business process 
onto this new platform then definitely you should go for this option and if you also want to keep your investment in custom code and to add to it if you want to mitigate any kind of risk or investment of a big bank conversion project by running basically a technical conversion project with some focused selected innovations and adopting more new innovations at your speed so as i said it's more of a technical in place conversion from your existing sap business suite to an sap s4 hana solution and the sap s4 hana solutions could be either a private cloud edition or sap s4 hana on prem edition and one thing that i would like to add is with respect to your custom code where we are shifting our custom code as well a lot of compatibility views are created and these views allow you to execute those custom code without any kind of issues that's the best part that sap provides and the other important factor that i wanted to talk about is this system conversion is technically feasible from sap arp 6.0 and ever and and very other important point that you should keep in mind is that an interim transition to erp on hana is not required and not recommended anymore unlike in previous cases we had to move on to erp on hana and then we had to move to sap s4 hana but that's the case that is not needed or not required anymore so that is a very important information that you should keep in mind while you are trying to do a system conversion now talking about the new implementation so in terms of the new implementation that is your greenfield implementation it's about a new sap s4 hana instance so it's about the new implementation of sap s4 hana like for the customers who want to migrate from a legacy system and this is also known as the greenfield approach and here if you see the major point is about the data migration as well so considering this greenfield implementation why should a customer choose this option basically the customers who plan to migrate from a non sap such as oracle or any other erp solutions or from a third party legacy system to move on to sap s4 hana it's basically a very good option for an sap system which may be of a very older release like prior to sap ecc 6.0 or if it is very highly customized or modified and maybe it is not meeting all the system requirements that is needed for a technical system conversion that we talked about in our earlier system conversion and what are the benefits that the customer gets is it's about more of a reengineering and process simplification based on a lot of pre configured business process and all the new innovation that sap releases you get all the adoption of all those new innovations and here if you see and try to understand what are the steps involved so it's all about installing obviously the sap s4 an instance right via the sap software provisioning manager and very important is the initial data load from multiple source systems or the source system involved here we deal this data load via sap s4 an migration cockpit or sap data services both with best practice migration content and with respect to sap s4 an migration cockpit it has got a lot of pre configured migration content staging tables and a lot of other benefits which helps you to transfer the data either by using files or staging tables or transfer data directly from sap system which is available from sap s4 and 1909 onwards so you can definitely migrate the data using all the staging tables and the other benefits that we talked about so this is so if you see with respect to the data provisioning as in the data migration definitely your sap s4 hana migration cockpit plays a crucial role when you talk from a data migration process for a new implementation instance and now if you see the other aspect as in if you do not want to go for a new implementation as in if you look at this option where we are trying to reengineer with data migration then the middle ground that is your selective data transition so if you don't want to go on to a new implementation and if you want to go on to a selective data transition i'll say so if you want to go on to a selective data transition basically it's about if you want to have your multiple erp systems clubbed onto one sap s4 hana platform or maybe a scenario where you want to carve out certain parts of business maybe take an example if you do not want to have certain company codes or if you do not want to have certain regions so basically in those scenarios either you try to consolidate 
or deaggregate as per your necessary needful. So in those cases, your selective data transition plays a good role as in your selective data transition that is what I'll say a kind of a blue field implementation. So this scenario is apt for those customers who want to consolidate their landscape or to selectively transform data into an existing SAP S4 HANA system. And the architecture would definitely look more of a like this only where apart from my existing SAP source system, you may have legacy systems also and you definitely want to either migrate onto a cloud instance private or edition or SAP S4 on an on-premise instance. And why should customers choose this option? I'll say maybe example a value-based migration like you need more than master data and maybe such an open items like transactional data or you want a selected periodical data only. And definitely the other factor that will pitch in is your TCO as in total cost of ownership reduction. Because here the system and landscape consolidation happens with your harmonized and simplified process. And with respect to simplified data transition, there are actually two processes involved. One is called the cell creation approach and the other is called the mix and match creation approach. As in what I want to say is that SAP S4 HANA selective data transition that is your bluefield implementation enables a right balance between redesign and reuse. So when I talk about the cell creation approach, it's about reusing the existing ERP customizing as a baseline and build a new customizing on top of it. And the other aspect of the selective data transition that is your mix and match approach where you reuse partially existing ERP customizing and mix or match new customizing. So if I want to conclude in a very simple way with terms of which option really fits the best in terms of a pure brownfield implementation via rapid modernization that is a system conversion. Here it's more of a full reuse of the business process, no or limited redesign and a lot of S4 HANA simplification of mandatory items that you get. In terms of your business model innovation that is via new implementation that is your greenfield approach. Here it is you do not want to reuse you basically do a full redesign and here also you get your S4 and a simplification items or mandatory items but it's more about the model company plus, plus the best practices and this is the only approach where you get to move on to all the three options that is SAP S4 and a either private cloud or public cloud or SAP S4 and a on-prem. Now talking about the selective data transition the two approaches again available within this either the cell creation approach or the mix and match approach. Here it's more about a mix of reusability, mix of redesign along with the simplification of mandatory items and depending on the approaches as we talked about where you can migrate onto a SAP S4 on a cloud instance and or a SAP S4 on a on-premise instance. So this is all about that I wanted to convey from the different transition paths involved to SAP S4 HANA and do subscribe to us so as to you can get latest insights on all such useful videos and help you grow onto your SAP learning path. Thank you.